Hello and welcome to the 32nd video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're starting with the makemove file. So I've added a new file to the JavaScript folder called makemove.js and inside index.html I've added just above gui.js the makemove.js file as so in there as a script link. So inside makemove what are we going to do? Well before making the writing the make move and take move functions we're going to write in the next couple of videos three functions called add move and clear piece from the board which obviously are then used in the make move function itself and probably before we then start with the make move function in another video we're going to put a function into board.js which actually checks the integrity of our hash key our piece lists and things like that before we go any further because I've already been making some typos, but now the chance is really to make big errors inside the program if you're not careful. So we're going to actually add a function in which won't be used in the actual sort of full production version, if you like, full speed version of the code, but will be put in there for debugging purposes. So the first function we're going to write is the only function for this video. It's going to be at the top of makemove.js and we're going to call it clear piece in this way. And this is going to take the square. So what this is going to do is remove a piece from the square. And it's not as simple as simply saying that game board pieces square equals pieces dot empty because we have to hash out the piece. We have to update our material value for the piece because we've got a material array remember in our game board uh, structure. And we also have to find where the piece is in the piece list and remove it from the piece list and then alter the piece number array as well. So the first thing we're going to do is make some variables as usual and we'll find the piece that we're actually clearing by going to our game board dot pieces and the square. So we've actually got the piece and what we're also going to need is we're going to need the piece color as well. So I'm going to call this col for color and I'm just going to call this, my goodness, typing issues again today piece call and this time of the piece. So we've got the color because we'll be needing that for example for the material because that's indexed by color. We'll set up for our loop already an index variable and we're going to set up here it's kind of um, a marker which gets set inside you'll see the remove piece list and I'll call this PCE num for piece num and set this equal to minus one. The point being it should never end up being minus one if we ever wanted to do some debugging later on you'll see. So the first thing we can do now is we're clearing the piece so we'll call our hash piece which we put in in the last video and we've got our piece in the square and we'll remove our piece from our position key in this way. The next thing we want to do is from our game board pieces obviously is set the square in question now to empty because our piece has moved from this square and we can also now get our game board and our material remembering that this is indexed by side so by color so indexed by col and now we'll subtract from this material value the piece value we have a piece value array defined in defs remember of the piece so for example if we were move, clearing a pawn from this square we would be taking 100 points away from this material value and now comes the tricky bit where we actually have to remove our piece from the piece list. And the way we actually do this, and I've been a lot of times now through the indexing in the piece list explaining, and I'll do this for the last time, but essentially what we're doing in the piece list here is, imagine that we're looking at the white pawns in the piece list. So we have our game board P list and we have it at the index of white pawn 0 and we have it at an index white pawn 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say we've got pawns, a white pawns list has 5 pawns in it. Um, remember we index by number starting at 0. So and then we have the square as well so we'll call this, this square 1, square 2, square three, didn't need to type so many of these out, never mind, square four and square five. Now let's say we're clearing the white pawn 
out of the piece list and it's the third white pawn so it index two in this case with the zero indexing and that's pawn is on square three well this is where t piece num comes in we're going to loop through all of our white pawns and because we know what piece type we're clearing from up here and we're going to set t piece num equal to the white pawn index of when the square of that white pawn equals the square we're clearing so say we, we've our square is q s s3 so square the arguments this function equals s3 then what will happen is as we loop through this array we'll be setting in the end t piece num equal to uh, 2 so the index will be at 2 because it's this white pawn and what we'll then do is we'll swap the values at 4 and 2 so the new list will and I'm sure you can already imagine what the new list will look like but the new list will now look like this and what we'll then do is we'll simply reduce the piece number for white pawn by one so that means next time we loop through our piece loop for white pawns our piece loop will look like this so we'll never actually access a white pawn on S3 again we'll only have these white pawns like this and that's the way we go about then removing the uh, pawns, white pawns then from the list so I hope that makes some sense and I'll put the actual code in now just because of space and everything directly below the game board material line here but I'll leave these comments in just for now for reference um, and probably in the code that you can uh, download then along with this video and delete it later on because it's obviously not needed so the first thing we do we say for index equals naught and index obviously is less than then game board dot piece num and of our piece so the number of pieces so in the example I've got here this num here would obviously be five and then plus plus index and what we want to do now we want to say that if our game board p list our piece list at our piece index and remember we do the piece and then the index so the piece and the piece num so if equals square so we're effectively asking is square equal to s3 in, in the example we did below if it is then we can set our temporary piece num equal to our index and we can actually break out of the loop because we found the pawn we're looking for and you can see here already why when you are writing this sort of program for real or not just as a tutorial like this you'd already be needing some kind of asserts and things in here because TP num should end up being set if it isn't then obviously you're in trouble and you haven't actually found the piece that you're trying to clear from the square which is why in a couple of videos we'll be adding a board check function in just to make sure everything goes correctly from now on so once then you've found your TP num the next thing to do now is reduce the piece number of our piece type by one as I said in the sort of comment example I did and now we do the swap and the thing is because I've already reduced the piece number here before doing the swap that effectively means that the last piece in the list isn't at index of piece num minus one it's now at the index of piece num because effectively this uh, what was a 5 will now have become a 4 in this example here you could have done it the other way around but I, prefer, I thought it was cleaner to do it this way around so we've now got game board piece list and then again we want our piece index and we need our piece and our index which is now t piece num so whatever's at the index of t piece num so in my example was at the index 2 here will now be set equal to whatever's in the piece list but at the index now of the last piece which because we've already decremented our piece num will actually be exactly that like this so now we've done that 
our piece list has been updated, the piece numbers reduced, and effectively our white pawn on that index has now been added to the end of the list and is no longer reachable because the piece num loop won't actually get there. So I'll just clear off actually because it's annoying me already this set of comments here. You can pause the video and have a look at it if it wasn't too clear or ask any questions in the comments. And we've already been going for a bit too long on this video so that's it for this video then and in the next video I'll write both the add piece and the move piece functions and won't explain so much about how the piece index loop is working because that should be fairly fairly clear now. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.